Welcome back, Gabriel. Our next case involves an outlandish claim and a vehicle with something of a reputation here in Britain, which I believe to be undeserved. You know this, the Reliant Supervan. With some small stability enhancements, this design, in my opinion, is quite sound. You will proceed, please, to Bamborough Castle, where we will attempt a small and highly scientific jump. Turn right. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. Ah, you see? My enhancements greatly improve stability with no detriment to the look of the car. If anything, a small improvement, I think.
will proceed, please, to Bamborough Castle, where we will attempt a small and highly scientific jump. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. Ah, you see? My enhancements greatly improve stability with no detriment to the look of the car. If anything, a small improvement, I think. In 200 meters, turn right. In 100 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Good, good. Now, to recreate the conditions of the accident, which resulted in a claim for damages to a church roof. You see, the fiberglass construction makes the Reliance Supervan light enough to become airborne. It lacks, I think, in aerodynamics and engine power. For this next test, I have compensated, perhaps overcompensated. <laughs> we shall see. Hmm, it occurs to me that I have added no additional safety features, but at least you will be landing on sand. It worked. I mean, of course it worked. And so we see that it is entirely possible to deposit a Reliant Superfan in the belfry of a country church. I will contact the claimant and pass on the good news. Well, the results anyway. Our next case involves an outlandish claim and a vehicle with something of a reputation here in Britain, which I believe to be undeserved. You know this, the Reliant Supervan. With some small stability enhancements, this design, in my opinion, is quite sound. You will proceed, please, to Bamborough Castle, where we will attempt a small and highly scientific jump. 400 meters, turn left. at your destination. Good, good. Now, to recreate the conditions of the accident, which resulted in a claim for damages to a church roof. You see, the fiberglass construction makes the Reliance Supervan light enough to become airborne. It lacks, I think, in aerodynamics and engine power. For this next test, I have compensated, perhaps overcompensated. <laughs> we shall see. Hmm, it occurs to me that I have added no additional safety features, but at least you will be landing on sand. It worked. I mean, of course it worked. And so we see that it is entirely possible to deposit a Reliant Superfan in the belfry of a country church. I will contact the claimant and pass on the good news. 
Well, the results anyway. Do you know that in my spare time I am an avid watcher of films? Oh yes, one of my favorite films sees young people having personal revelations whilst racing classic cars. See if you can tell what it is. Now one of my claimants has apparently tried to recreate scenes of the film which features a Morris Minor similar to this one with limited success. We will require city conditions on uh, traffic lights. So, Edinburgh, if you please. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. Calculating route. In 100 meters, turn left. In 400 meters, turn sharp right. Calculating route. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. In 100 meters, turn right. In 100 meters, turn left. In 100 meters, Turn right. The test was unsuccessful, but no matter, failure is a great teacher. We will require city conditions on uh, traffic lights, so Edinburgh, if you please. meters turn left recalculating route in 200 meters turn left
about take the first exit recalculating route in 200 meters turn left turn left in 100 meters turn right One hundred meters, turn left. In one hundred meters, turn right. Well done. You have achieved the optimal result for the first part of our test, which is... Uh, I'm not so sure. This is a uniquely American word, but uh, cruising, I think, yes? Now we must test the drag race performance of the Morris Minor with a few small engine modifications of my own. This is not strictly reproducing conditions of the film, but nor is the speed trap we are borrowing from the Horizon Festival. Now, straight line speed is our object. If it helps, you may imagine you are racing against an impossibly handsome actor. Excellent. I will advise the claimants that they may be confident lining up against an Austin Healy Sprite, as in the film. Once a Morris Minor returns from the crash repairer, of course. Now, straight line speed is our object. If it helps, you may imagine you are racing against an impossibly handsome actor. I will advise the claimants that they may be confident lining up against an Austin Healy Sprite, as in the film. Once a Morris Minor returns from the crash repairer, of course.
Now, straight line speed is our object. If it helps, you may imagine you are racing against an impossibly handsome actor. Excellent. I will advise the claimants that they may be confident lining up against an Austin Healy Sprite, as in the film. Once that Morris Minor returns from the crash repairer, of course. I must confess, I was confused by our next case involving a racing truck. I was not aware of such a term. I had to consult with Horizon to find a suitable test vehicle. Though I was not disappointed with the result. Perhaps before we begin testing, you would like a chance to, how do you say, uh, get a feel for this machine? In 100 meters, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Four hundred meters. Turn left. In four hundred meters. Turn right. Recalculating route. Turn left. Very good. Unlike our claimant, you have passed the first test. The vehicle is not upside down. Our claimant insists that these so-called high-performance heavy vehicles are simply too fast to manage variable terrain. We will attempt not only to prove otherwise, but to demonstrate they are much faster than kept firmly on the road. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Much improved acceleration over flat ground.
case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? I must confess, I was confused by our next case involving a racing truck. I was not aware of such a term. I had to consult with Horizon to find a suitable test vehicle. Though I was not disappointed with the result. Perhaps before we begin testing, you would like a chance to, how do you say, uh, get a feel for this machine? In 100 meters, turn right. Turn right. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. Recalculating route. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Very good. Unlike our claimant, you have passed the first test. The vehicle is not upside down. Our claimant insists that these so-called high-performance heavy vehicles are simply too fast to manage variable terrain. We will attempt not only to prove otherwise, but to demonstrate they are much faster than kept firmly on the road. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge.
to see. Much improved acceleration over flat ground. through tight corners, yes. Also, I must congratulate you on your restraint. In any case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. improved acceleration over flat ground. In Germany, we would call this test kaput. Let us reset and try again. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Much improved acceleration over flat ground. The test was unsuccessful, but no matter. Failure is a great teacher. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. In any case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge.
much improved acceleration over flat ground. through tight corners, yes. Also, I must congratulate you on your restraint. Downhill roads provide increased downforce as well as speed. Interesting. You see, we may dispute the claim that the racing truck cannot be controlled. Indeed, if yours was uh, refrigerated, you could quite easily deliver milk or eggs or other perishable goods. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. In Germany, we would call this test kaputt. Let us reset and try again. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. improved acceleration over flat ground. through tight corners, yes. Also, I must congratulate you on your restraint.
The test was unsuccessful, but no matter. Failure is a great teacher. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Much improved acceleration over flat ground. Enhanced traction through tight corners, yes. Also, I must congratulate you on your restraint. Downhill roads provide increased downforce as well as speed. Interesting. In any case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. In Germany, we would call this test kaput. Let us reset and try again. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Ah, you see, much improved acceleration over flat ground. The test was unsuccessful, but no matter, failure is a great teacher. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge.
in any case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite... ...at my carefully plotted route, you will please resist this urge. In Germany, we would call this test kaputt. Let us reset and try again. You may feel an urge to go off-road. Despite my carefully plotted route, you will please resist this urge. The test was unsuccessful, but no matter, failure is a great teacher. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route, you will please resist this urge. In any case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? You may feel an urge to go off-road. Despite my carefully plotted route, you will please resist this urge. In Germany, we would call this test kaputt. Let us reset and try again. You may feel an urge to go off-road. Despite my carefully plotted route, you will please resist this urge. The test was unsuccessful, but no matter, failure is a great teacher. You may feel an urge to go off-road. Despite my carefully plotted route, you will please resist this urge. In any case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? You may feel an urge to go off-road. Despite my carefully plotted route, you will please resist this urge. Germany, we would call this test kaputt. Let us reset and try again. You may feel an urge to go off-road. Despite my carefully plotted route, you will please resist this urge.
Ah, you see. Much improved acceleration over flat ground. The test was unsuccessful, but no matter. Failure is a great teacher. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. In any case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Germany, we would call this test kaput. Let us reset and try again. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. The test was unsuccessful, but no matter, failure is a great teacher. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Much improved acceleration over flat ground. Enhanced traction through tight corners, yes. Also, I must congratulate you on your restraint. Downhill roads provide increased downforce as well as speed. Interesting.
In any case, we learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Much improved acceleration over flat ground. Germany, we would call this test kaput. Let us reset and try again. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. The test was unsuccessful, but no matter, failure is a great teacher. You may feel an urge to go off-road, despite my carefully plotted route. You will please resist this urge. Much improved acceleration over flat ground.
Enhanced traction through tight corners, yes. Also, I must congratulate you on your restraint. Downhill roads provide increased downforce as well as speed. Interesting. You see, we may dispute the claim that the racing truck cannot be controlled. Indeed, if yours was uh, refrigerated, you could quite easily deliver milk or eggs or other perishable goods. My friend, did you know that uh, video footage of our investigations is highly sought after around the festival? I was not aware so many young people were considering insurance as a career. In any case, we have a new claim and a new test vehicle, perfect for scouting our new test location. Please enjoy the scenery as well as the performance. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 100 meters, Turn sharp left. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. Recalculating route. In 100 meters, Turn right.
turn right. Notice the improved acceleration as we pass the dam. A little of my handiwork. The acceleration, not the dam. In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. The vehicle is performing well, yes? Good. You should be approaching the quarry now. So, what do you think? A suitable location for a machine as rugged as this, yes? Now, allow me to explain. Our claimant has explored this very quarry in a Willis MB, similar to ours, though they have expressed dissatisfaction with their performance upgrades. Through a combination of my work and your skill, we will now set about, very politely, proving them wrong. May I suggest a more aggressive approach to navigation? You see the set nav? Please ignore this. In 100 meters, turn left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 200 meters, turn right. I will make it known to the client that the Willis MB is more than adequate to their purposes of vertical movement and visceral excitement. Hello, good day, uh, how are you? Now that we have enjoyed the small talk, we may proceed to the next case, involving an acceleration test in normal traffic conditions. Now, this is a 1966 Volkswagen Beetle, into which I have placed a 2.5 liter F4 turbo engine, partly to replicate the conditions of the claim, but also because I would very much like to see what happens. Perhaps be careful with this vehicle. I may have overdone it. Claim concerns a driver very much overdoing it, so by all means, uh, how is it you say, put the put down.
close, though I must say I like this Clement. All those years working in Germany, never once did I think to do this to a Volkswagen. Our next claimant extensively modified a 1955 Chevy 150 utility sedan with a view to turning it into a rally car. This is not so far beyond the realms of possibility. The vehicle is heavy, yes, but with all-wheel drive and rally-tuned springs and dampers it could be done. The claimant's attempt resulted, of course, in complete failure, but I am confident that ours will not. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. calculating route. In 400 meters, turn left.
arrive at your destination. All in all, a highly adequate rally car. And we should not discount the psychological effect upon the competition of being overtaken by a collector's item. Ah, greetings once again. So, we have our modified Chevy 150. Now we must test the claim that it will make a competitive rally car. I am confident in the vehicle's performance and I have observed enough of your experimental driving technique to be confident in you also. Ah, now, you will need a co-driver, of course. This will be me. Steady incline, four-wheel drive, hold the rear end. And tight. That did not sound as it should. You see how those wide tires and reduced weight handle the corners? The claimant failed to grasp this. We learn an important lesson about driver error before we try again, yes? Ah, now, you will need a co-driver, of course. This will be me. Steady incline, four-wheel drive. the rear end tight. That did not sound as it should.
Trust the improved suspension. Power in the big Chevrolet engine. This is the claimant graphs a little too well, I think. Yeah, most satisfactory. Yourself and the car. The claimant will be pleased to know we have succeeded where they catastrophically failed. Or perhaps they will not.
Have you noticed an upward trend in peculiar insurance cases since we began our work? I have noticed this. Is it possible we are, how would you say, a bad influence? And here is one such case. The claimant wishes to establish the absolute maximum capabilities and tolerances of the Myers Manx June buggy. Ah, well, if test the June buggy we must, then test the June buggy we will. make a prime testing location. I think also away from prying eyes. I knew insurance would be difficult. I did not know it would be so popular. Now, the Manx here has been outfitted with the latest accelerometers, lateral g-force meters and impact sensors. I will be using the data to build a detailed telemetric profile. All I require from you is that you drive like you have no concern for your own safety. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. successfully established the tolerances of the Myers Manx. To what end? I'm not sure. We have received no claims of damage to June buggies, except perhaps our own.
Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. Describes this performance as slightly unbalanced, but certainly not unsafe. a little more of a carefree side in you, yes? established the tolerances of the Maya's Manx. To what end, I'm not sure. We have received no claims of damage to June buggies, except perhaps our own. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you.
Now, it describes this performance as slightly unbalanced, but certainly not unsafe. Esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. Except as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you.
Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. I would describe this performance as slightly unbalanced, but certainly not unsafe. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. In Germany, we would call this test kaput. Let us reset and try again. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you.
Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. successfully established the tolerances of the Maya's Max. To what end, I'm not sure. We have received no claims of damage to dune buggies, except perhaps our own. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you.
you have a little more of a carefree side in you, yes? So, we have successfully established the tolerances of the Myers Manx. To what end? I'm not sure. We have received no claims of damage to dune buggies, except perhaps our own. 